Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Today I've got a food shopping haul for y'all. Now, this um, video is slightly delayed. Right, my kids are noisy. I'm gonna shut this door first off. This video is slightly delayed in the way that you guys aren't gonna see this for over a week. And it is the Storm Chiara. Sierra, I don't know what, what people are calling it, but it is a storm outside, so I do not look my best today. <laughs> I look nice this morning, now I just look like that. So, I'm going to share with you guys my food shopping haul, what I bought. I spent £64 today in Lidl, not bad. I did get some stuff, I'll show you, that I don't like always buy. But here's my little overview of everything that we bought. We didn't need a whole lot of fresh stuff. You'd be like, Paula, that looks like a lot of fresh stuff. I know, um, but I did need to stock up on some like tin things and canned things. So let me show you what I got. So if, if you're new, first of all, let me say please subscribe. Second of all, I try and sort the stuff out. So we've got like fruits and veggies over here, fresh chilled stuff or frozen stuff over here. Then more kind of cupboardy things and then non-food things. You'll be like, that's food, but I'll explain about that in a little bit. So first up over here, I've got two packets of asparagus chips. Fancy and the deluxe, um, but they were just to 20 pence. I will cook them up today and we will have them today. They are nice roasted, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, the bit delicious. Then I got two packets of these mixed peppers. You can see there's quite a bit, look at this poor apple, oh, there's quite a bit of fruits and veggies left over. I'm going to mash these for cakes because we don't use eggs and then I can also freeze some and we can use them for smoothies. I bought these kiwis last week, oh I did not eat any of them, oh well. Lots of easy peelers left that I haven't really been eating and some apples but this stuff will not go to waste. Even this won't go to waste. Nobody in my house will eat this because obviously look at it, it's bashed and it's got wrinkly skin but I make my own dog food and my dog food calls for apples perfect so I can just cut that little bit off obviously don't give the dog that and she just she doesn't know it's got wrinkly skin <laughs> anyway but I didn't get a whole lot of fruit bowl fruit just because as you guys can see I didn't eat a whole lot and then we've got a bag of bananas two courgettes the only person that likes courgettes in our house is Sky, and I cut them up really fine slice them super fine again a little bit of olive oil on them, salt, pepper, put them in the oven and they crisp up and they're crunchy and she loves them. She goes gaga for them. So I got some for her. A bag of Granny Smith apples, a bag of Gala apples, some spring onions, green beans. Now, it's a lot of plastic. I do try and buy not. If you watch my other videos, I have little mesh bags I take to the supermarket. Lidl doesn't have a whole lot that you can buy loose. They do have bananas. But, oh my gosh, the bananas that are not in a bag absolutely stink. There's something wrong with them. I don't know what it is. They're all wet and stinky. And I, one time I put them in my trolley and didn't realise. And then the smell was all over my hands. It was disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. So I always buy bananas in a bag from Lidl, which is unfortunate. They don't do Granny Smiths not in a bag. They don't do... Sometimes they do... What are these ones? These are... just says Red Apple. Last week I bought these loose. But this week, the price on these ones, these ones were on offer, so it was ridiculous price compared. I could get like one of these for a whole bag of them. So we went for the plastic option today. Green beans, did I say green beans? Oven likes these roasted up in the oven. I, can't, I seem to roast a lot of vegetables, oh well. Some red seedless grapes, a broccoli, one sweet potato hiding back there. It's actually quite big, doesn't look that big, but it is. Some white potatoes, raspberries, blackberries, that's not from this shopping haul. That just belongs up there, but I can't reach. <laughs> Some cucumbers. Again, like, I hate it when they put them in the shrink wrap. Like, I'm going to wash this stuff anyway. Then they put it in the shrink wrap. I can, you know, like, use a tap. We're good. And then a bag of this vegetable medley for Thomas. He likes that. I don't like frozen. Well, that's not true. I do like frozen vegetables. I like frozen peas, frozen sweet corn, but broccoli and cauliflower. I've never had much luck with frozen. I've tried all different supermarkets it's just quite often mushy so i always tend to buy fresh broccoli or cauliflower these are the sausages we eat these are from linda mccartney and they are vegetarian sausages they're actually vegan but and it says new palm oil free recipe which is good but they are delicious they taste like square sausage i really really like them 
some sour cream. We're not vegan, in case you couldn't tell. Here's a big tub of sour cream. We're not, um, but we try and not eat that much meat or dairy for health reason's. And then I've got these dairy, dairy free yogurts. We've got some mango. You get two in these. And I believe it's got, that looks like it's got a little mango layer done it. And look at this blueberry one. Yeah, that, can you see? It looks like it's got like a blueberry layer inside. But we've got mango, blueberry, strawberry. So you get two, and I think they're a pound, and you get two. So it's not like, wow, well, that's the best price, but. The kids like them, so I just get some. It is cheaper to go to like Tesco and they do dairy free pots of yogurt, like four for £1.25. Um, but I don't live near a Tesco or whatever, so we buy these. And these are really nice, they're more like a kind of deluxe yogurt rather than the ones from Tesco that are four for like £1.25 are more of a like your bulk standard kind of yogurt. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm terrible today. And then I picked up two of these. Oban likes these, he doesn't eat these. He likes these, so I buy him like two packets a week and he eats like two a day. And then I got three packets of beef mince. I don't normally buy a whole lot of meat, but I got one for dog food, because I need to make dog food. And then I got two more, because I've got friends coming over this week for chili. So I like to make chili with beef. I do make chili with just beans and stuff, and it's delicious. But for flavour wise, I don't think you can beat the beef. And my friend was talking about chilli and I was like, oh man, I'll make chilli when you come to my house. So I'm going to make chilli. I'm going to make a big batch of it and then we'll have plenty to eat. Some falafel. We've not tried these ones. These have a really long date on them, like a month on them. I got two packets. The kids like falafel. Then these devilishly dark chocolate. That's fancy, isn't it? That thing's fancy. These are Avro. They're soy. They're like yogurty things, you can keep them, they're shelf stable, so you don't have to keep them in the fridge. We do keep them in the fridge, but Thomas takes them to work and the kids eat them. We needed some more hot chocolate, and this one, look at this, salted caramel flavour hot chocolate. I don't know if the kids will like it, they picked it. They had salted caramel or chilli, so that's fancy, rather than your regular kind of bog standard hot chocolate over there. And then Sky got a bar of white chocolate for herself. And then she got some milk chocolate. She is in charge of, for family home evening this week, she's in charge of snack. And I thought she would have put her culinary skills to use and maybe made like a cake or, you know, something like that. But no, she said, I'm gonna get some rice pudding, which is disgusting, I hate rice pudding, and chop up some chocolate. So I guess we've got that to look forward to this week at family home evening. And then we've got some honey. I use this to make my protein balls. Some, now if you want a recipe, I do have a recipe for the chili. I'll try and put it up here. If I don't remember, you can just Google chili, life with Mrs. B or like YouTube, Google it. Um, like search it on YouTube, that's what I mean. And it will come up. I also have a recipe for the protein balls on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link there if I can remember. If I can't, again, you can just search it. And then we got some kidney beans, some two for the chili. One for dog food. I got some oregano, oregano, however you want to say it. Sweet chili sauce. Four cartons of passata, because I'll need like two or three. No, I might even need four for chili, because I'm making a big batch of chili. Might be four, I'm not sure. And then some hot paprika. Some rice crispy, like rice krispies. I'm making a recipe this week. It's by a YouTuber, blogger, Instagrammer. She's called Earthy Andy, and it's called Hempies. Maybe called hempies. <laughs> I'm gonna make that. It looks delicious. Some oats. We don't really use these that much for porridge. We use mostly use them for overnight oats, protein balls, and I make muffins. Again, I've got a recipe. I'll try and put the link up there. They're a raspberry lemon muffin, but I use any kind of fruit, and they are delicious and kind of healthy. Not that bad for you. We got some milk chocolate oaties, two jars of strawberry jam. We were all out, and oh my gosh. These kids were not happy at all because PB&Js could not happen because there was no jam. Honestly, they were severely disappointed. So if you've ever heard the phrase, one is none, that's why I got two. And then two boxes of cheesy macaroni. We call this red box pasta in our house. Like we'll say, do you want red box pasta for lunch? Which is what we're gonna have to do for lunch. This is what it means. It's similar, if you're across the pond, it's similar to like a craft boxed mac and cheese type thing 
and then these white sandwich things not something i really buy but they were 20 pence so i would just put them in the freezer two bags of these plain like salted tortilla crisps for the chili some garlic granules some sugar some sugar some sugar for baking some tortilla wraps i got two cartons of this almond milk this one's sweetened well both are sweetened and then some oat unsweetened they don't have any unsweetened soy this week so this is what i got for this week these things um i got yesterday at pound stretchers uh, they were just waiting to go in the shed i got a little like trowel would you call that a trowel <laughs> and then a little fork and two packets of these so i can plant up my plants once they get a little bigger and this for the weeds in our driveway moving on to non-food stuff it is almost valentine's day so i got this for thomas because you know i'm a good wife he loves birds he loves bird feeders he, lo he loves bird boxes he's uh, <laughs> fascinated with them he loves them so i got some peanuts and then this one i got the wrong one i meant to get the one with the grid on it like the metal grid but I asked the kids to get it and they got me this one. So this one's better for seeds rather than nuts. So I think I'll pick up another one probably and some seeds to go in this. And this just works by unclipping this bit and then you can fill it up inside. And then the idea behind the cage, I believe, is that it deters squirrels and larger birds. So any fat squirrels, can you get the goodies? That's, I believe, how it works. A big old pack of toilet roll. This one's an 18 pack. You just put that in your cupboard and then forget about toilet roll for like three weeks. It works handy. And then these are for my food cupboard. I have like a backup food cupboard where if I run out of most things, I can go to it and get it. And I keep a stock. Some might call it a stockpile. It's not a proper stockpile. It's maybe only got enough in it for like a week or two to feed us. But I buy little things most weeks and just try and put it in it so that I can build that stash up and that's my haul guys I hope you enjoyed it as I said 64 pounds this was 3.99 these were two pounds this I think was just over four pounds so that's like eight pounds straight away that we can't even eat <laughs> if that makes any sense so I hope you enjoyed my haul I'm gonna go and put it all away which I'm not looking forward to and then we're gonna have some lunch and crack on with their schoolwork. If you don't know, my kids are home educated, so I do all of their schooling, tutoring, work, whatever you want to call it, myself. So thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.